Hello folks, Andy here. Welcome back on board Potemkin. Sunday afternoon, just come to do a bit. So, let's have a go at this engine bay, really. Um, we move after this timber. This box I'm sat on with the batteries in. I want to get that out. Um, and then uh, it's covered in grease. So before I can start putting some steel in what have you, I need to clean it up so we don't want uh, any welding to set fire. Plus it wants cleaning out so I can get around and uh, get a coat of paint and lick of paint will make it look a lot better. So I'm going to be welding plate in here. So it's just got to be cleaned out anyway. So I'll Got a couple of products, I don't know what they're like, <laughs> cleaning products. I sent off for Tintinet. I've got Citra Clean Concentrated Citrus Degreaser. I've got Citra Clean Concentrated Citrus Degreaser. Ideal for walls, floors, equipment sand components, tile sink, bathroom, sanitary wear, vehicle interiors and engines. So that's sort of a general purpose, uh, you know, uh, natural degreaser made from citrus. So you can download that it says. Anything from sort of 25% up to 100% depending on what you're cleaning, I suppose generally just for wiping around the boat, you could have that mixed up 100%, it's just a surface cleaner like, without all the uh, nasties in it. And I've got this bilge blitz, grease oil and scum emulsifier, contains powerful bacteria, bac contains powerful bactericides, bactericides, Kill sulfur producing bacteria. Non toxic, non caustic, prevents fault odors and corrosions. Environmentally friendly, biological formula, water soluble vet cleaner. So, and it's saying you can basically pour it in your bilges neat, or you could dilute it, and you leave it in there, and as the boat's going along, it splashes around and it degreases everything by it. Obviously I can't do that because we're in the marina. So I'm going to dilute it a bit, or oh, try a bit undiluted and see what that does. And then uh, see, how, see how it goes and uh, try diluting it, see what happens. I don't know, I've never used it before. It's all new to me, doubled up really. So, anyway, we'll make it up as we go along. So we'll get on with it. A few a couple of ways to take out, keep taking them out until eventually I suppose the engine won't start because I took too much out. But uh, we're we'll trying to keep the engine running for now. But the engine's coming out shortly. So we'll get on with it. batteries at the moment. And those two leads are for the um, bilge pump. That's the starter battery that's I've already disconnected. So we'll just we'll take these leisure batteries off, these are new batteries. We'll take the leisure batteries off and uh, take them out of the way and then I'll reinstall one temporarily somewhere.
got there. They're messing about, what we got there. There we are. So that's the base plate. A bit of sludge on it. There's a feed coming out of the skin tank, so into it, I'm not sure, because they're going going one end of the skin tank and out the other. But we actually pass to the next skin tank and then back to the engine. So that that uh, thick copper part there that goes around there. And you can see it comes out the engine. It passes round under here, across here, and into the skin tank there on this side. And then, uh, uh, because, well, another, it's flow and return on both tanks, but they're connected, both are connected before they go back into the engine to cool the water down when the boat's running. So. And you can see more of these uh, pipes here, this thick walled pipe, it's dense stuff, it's heavy, so that's, that's the ballast they used 40 years ago. So we need to get all this out, clean it all up, when the, when the engine comes out, anyway, we're going to divert all this, uh, uh, the 25mm pipe. The copper pipe that goes around the engine. We're going to divert all that back, uh, make it uh, just reroute it all because it's uh, going to interfere with the uh, coming down out the boat there. The steps are coming down, the uh, platform up here to stand on, and then step down to the to our left and uh, down to that counter and then into the boat here. So, I'm going to reroute all that lot. So, we're going to get all this lot cleaned out now. Right, we're having a go at uh, putting a recording on this because I've lost all the sound. <laughs> Don't know what's gone wrong but everything's gone anyway for the next uh, few clips of cleaning around the engine and um, uh, you know, getting rid of all the rubbish and cleaning it out. So basically that's what I'm doing. I'm cleaning out and um, scraping all the crud off the bottom which is thick grease and stuff. So uh, then um, I'll start using the cleaner solutions uh, that I bought to see if they're any good. It, it does take it off to a certain extent. It needs another go, it's nowhere near done. So we just um, have to do it again and see what happens. I'll be doing it again uh, uh, tomorrow. So we'll have a look. I'm just lifting out um, from from the base plate the round steel, the, the thick wall uh, tube off cuts from some industry, I don't know. But um, the what have been used originally as ballast on this boat. Um, there's those down the back. It has had a, the base has been um, there's a new base on this blow on this boat. There's another 10 milli plate on top of what the original plate was. And that was on several years ago. And uh, so it hasn't actually needed a lot of ballast because of that. So there's where I'm here, up here at the front, um, there's the big paving slabs and down the back end there's just the, um, the extra ballast was just these bars. There's more of them under the flooring I've put down which is, we'll see again later because I lost all the clips of that when I first started doing this boat. And um, when I took the floor up there were literally hundreds of these metal bars. So you know they've worked for, for 40 years. So we'll reuse them again, but I'll just pack them in properly, probably foam them in or something like that. We'll put them and contain them somehow in a, in a some type of box or a frame so they can't slop around. But the, it's only weight, so it doesn't matter to me what they are. But anyway, back to this, I'm just cleaning out. And um, it, it was thick crud. Of today's activities, uh, it's looking a bit better. <laughs> Look at that, not too bad, it's cleaned up. 
and I've put a battery back on just to so the bilge pump works but uh, I think if it really got some water in there uh, you're never going to keep it out with a little bilge pump like them so anyway it's on so quite pleased with that lot that's okay for me um, there's a lot of crud down here around the sides and underneath the engine so that'll get That'll not be done till the engine comes out, which hopefully won't be too far away. Anyway, that's it for today, folks. It's uh, tea time. I'm getting hungry. Better get off. Two hours.